Hey folks, in April and May, we talked about one of my favorite topics, and that is communication skills. So important to know how to get along with people. And in June, we're talking about another one of my favorite topics, and that is paradigms and perspectives. Where do they come from? How do they affect us? In Proverbs 15, 15 from the ESV, here's what the writer says. All the days of the afflicted are evil, but the cheerful of heart has a continual feast. Some folks live their life in dread and negativity, and it's just a bummer of a life. Everything's bad. The cup's always half empty. But there are others who have a cheerful heart, and that produces a feast. In other words, they have a very uh, positive perspective. Now, at this point, some may say, oh, we're just talking about the power of positive thinking. No, we're not. Because positive thinking is really a technique that's just based on itself. We have a cheerful attitude, a cheerful perspective, because we know God. What do we know about God? Number one, He is sovereign. He is over all. Number two, we know His character. He's great and He's good to His people. And number three, when things come our way, be they what we label as good or what we label as bad, we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, who are called according to His purpose. So because of that, we know that what things come our way is going to be good for us as well as giving God glory. Now, this is very important in the homeschooling arena because we have a lot of adversity sometimes. We're going against the cultural flow. Sometimes we're going against the church flow, and sometimes we're going against the extended family flow. And so we need to stay positive and cheerful. I think it's very important to have joy in the household. And so we want to create this perspective of joy based on us, no. Based on positive thinking, no. Based on who God is and he's interacting in our lives for his glory and our betterment. I hope this makes sense. Read the articles this week. Check out the prayer and fasting list and join us as we try to address our paradigms and perspectives. This is Kirk Smith with ICHE's Take 5.